guess what? Another road trip. Are we surprised? Probably not. If you've ever seen my channel before, I am basically at this point a road trip channel. Okay. <laughs> I just, you know, I am the road trip queen. I think in a past life, I must have been a truck driver. I don't know. I think that one of my hidden talents is that I can just drive all day. I would say I'm not a good driver as far as like hopping around town. Like I'm, I'm not a great driver, but I can drive across the country by myself in a couple days done it multiple times anyways welcome back to my channel my name is kennedy and yeah this is another road trip vlog so <laughs> basically yeah I've, I've moved around a lot in the last year and i have been living in austin texas and now i am moving to tampa florida and yeah so i am leaving san antonio i've probably been driving for like 15 20 minutes i I've had a long day, okay? I was in Seattle earlier today. I woke up at 6.45, and then I had a flight from Seattle to San Antonio. Like I said, I was living in Austin, but my friend Christina lives in San Antonio, which is not that far from Austin. So when I was in Seattle for three weeks, I left my car in San Antonio. Today, I flew to San Antonio. It's Saturday right now, and I'm going to drive like five hours, because it's already late. It's already 7.45 p.m., and I already did a flight from Seattle to San, to Seattle to San Antonio, and now I'm going to drive Seattle See, this is already like not, I'm not even making sense. Now I'm gonna drive San Antonio to Louisiana. Clearly I'm out of it. I just got a Red Bull and actually Christina gave me, she didn't want it anymore, this peach syrup. And some of you may judge me for what I'm about to do. So good. I'm gonna put, well, no, this is like normal. Like, this is, like, normal to get a flavored Red Bull, but it's just funny that, like, I have this in my car, and I'm, like, doing it with the gas station Red Bull. Normal, you'd put it in a cup with some ice, stir it up, but today we're doing it a little, um, we call this, oh my god, people are gonna think I'm putting freaking alcohol. <sighs> people are gonna think I'm putting, like, peach vodka in my Red Bull for my road trip. Okay, this is just syrup, okay, this is just sugar. It is not alcohol. <laughs> I was just thinking that. I mean, obviously, you guys wouldn't think that, but I was like, I'm just in the gas station right now. I'm like, one of these cars is going to look over and be like, oh, should I call the cops? Okay, now I got to stir it up. It is hot in Texas, ladies and gentlemen. I love Austin. That was like, I loved living there, but... It's my time to go. As Taylor Swift said, when it's time to go, you just know. Also got these. These are my favorite gummy, the froggies, but you just don't, you don't find them everywhere. You wanna know where you usually find them? Random ass gas stations. Okay. Need to hit the road. I didn't book my hotel for tonight. If you have seen a road trip vlog before, they are chewy. They've been sitting on the shelf for a while, haven't they? Um, I normally don't book my hotels in advance just because you never know how far you can actually drive. Now I don't want to book a hotel five hours away and then after three hours be like, oh my god, I cannot make it. So, yeah. Also, um, a little fun challenge for today. I'm out of data. So, I screenshotted the directions. This is gonna be like the amazing race. I literally just came on here to say that I saw a Bucky's billboard and it said, it's the brisket for me. Like, okay. <laughs> I'm so tired, I look probably like a freaking mess. Let's see what time it is. It's eight o'clock. I'm very tired. I'm going to go down and check out and then get gas, get a Red Bull, 
and then hit the road. It's about 12 hours today. Um, but when you include like stops for gas to go to the bathroom, whatever, it'll probably be like closer to 13. Okay, I've been driving for only 45 minutes, but I finally stopped for gas. I actually didn't need it like right this morning, so I didn't get it right away. And then I just got a Red Bull. I'm in Louisiana, like 30 miles from Lafayette, but that's about all I know right now. I'm listening to some music. Honestly, I'm kind of low energy. I don't really have much else to say. Maybe I'll get some more energy in a little bit after I drink this Red Bull. Oh, paper straw, the worst. Um, I'm pretty freaking tired. I just got a venti. I never get a venti. A venti of the shaken espresso, the brown sugar. This drink is so good, but These actually always hype me up. I think like the espresso like hits me harder than um, cold brew or something because lots of times I'll, I'll drink a cold brew. It would like give me some energy, but I'll drink like an espresso drink and I'll be like, woo, I'm ready to go. So I drank that Red Bull, but it really did. Okay, hold on. Um, I think I have to get over east. Please let me over. Please let me over. I did it. Amazing. Um, I drink a Red Bull, but those don't really affect me sometimes. But a good old shaken espresso will do the trick. Oh, the podcast I'm listening to. I listen to an episode of Anything Goes. I listen, right now I'm listening to an episode of Pretty Basic that Josh Peck is on. And then I listen to an episode of Clickbait. I actually really like that. I used to like Bachelor Hack hour with Becca Kufrin and Rachel Lindsay but now Rachel Lindsay's not on anymore and I love Becca's season of The Bachelor I have no problem with Becca but like I just don't find her as a podcast host as interesting as Rachel Lindsay so I'm a little bit less into that but now I'm into clickbait which is Grocery Store Joe and Taisha who I both love and then Natasha who like I really don't remember her that much I guess she was on Peter's season I really don't remember her but she's she's good on the podcast so listen to episode of clickbait also I don't listen to call her daddy like typically but I guess I'm still subscribed on to the podcast and I was looking through my podcast and sometimes when it's like late at night this is when I listen to call her daddy when I'm on a long road trip and it's late at night and I'm feeling like a little bit low on energy I'll listen to call her daddy because it's like very like in your face like boom 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 and it's kind of like versus like listening to Emma give advice on anything goes like I love that but like if you're tired that's like gonna make you more tired but like call her daddy kind of like I don't know it's just like a more aggressive podcast I guess anyways I wouldn't listen to an episode with just Alex Cooper normally but it was with Holly Madison who you know from Girls Next Door I loved Girls Next Door that was one of my favorite shows what was that like junior high I was obsessed Holly was actually never my favorite I remember really liking Bridget and then I was also a huge fan of Kendra because when Kendra got her own show I loved that and I think in the very very beginning I liked Bridget and then I liked Kendra Holly was always my least favorite but I don't yeah I still like her um but that podcast I would actually really recommend not because of Alex but because Holly like goes into like talking about living in the mansion her relationship with Hev and it's like really sad honestly but also like very very interesting so anyways do you think the coffee's already working I think it's a combination of the coffee and the girl in the red Hyundai with an attitude problem that got me all hyped up okay we are still nine and a half hours away so I've gone like two hours and 15 minutes <laughs> which is not very far we have a long road ahead of us um, but that's okay once I get it's only like 10 oh it's 10 30 it says I'm gonna get there a little bit after nine it's gonna be a long day boys
Okay, I'm in Mississippi now. I'm like halfway through my coffee. I am getting a little hungry. It's like 12.30. So, let's see what um, food places are. I stopped because I had to go to the bathroom. <sighs> Struggling a little bit, if I'm being honest. Okay. I guess I'll just get back... I just don't really see anything right around here. I'd rather just get something while I'm already off of the highway. Like, what's a girl? Oh, McDonald's is right there. I'll just go to McDonald's, honestly. Um, yeah, I'll just go to McDonald's. But you know when you, excuse me. You know when you drink coffee and you haven't eaten and you're kind of like, ugh, that is kind of how I feel. Okay, I just got here and I look like a freaking mess. <laughs> the end of that trip was rough, okay? My back started really hurting and it was a long day, okay? I think it's like 10.30. Yeah, it's 10.30. I brought all the stuff from my car inside um, because I didn't want anything like in my back seat and stuff. I have my TV here, but like there's a great TV here, but I just had to bring this in so it wasn't in my trunk. So I'll just have to, I mean, so it wasn't in my back seat. So I'll just have to put it somewhere because there's still a bunch of stuff in my trunk right now, but my trunk's like 100% full. Um, but also some of the stuff I'm like, I'll probably like put some of the suitcases and stuff in my trunk and I can just drive around with that. Um, once I get everything out that I need for like the next month, but like the TV, I don't want to drive around with the TV, like not in a box, just in my trunk. So yeah, I'll just have to put that somewhere, but I just probably won't really use it. But this place is so cute. I mean, besides my stuff being everywhere, I'll just show you. So here's the front door. Like I said, my stuff is everywhere. Look at the little sign. It says, welcome Kennedy. We hope you enjoy your stay with us. How cute um yeah like i said giant tv right in front of the bed love to see it uh cute chair actually and like i love the nightstands like i really am like into this place i think it's really cool and like modern looking um microwave fridge toaster oven and that's all i have like i don't have um a stove or oven i mean this is enough of an oven for one person but i don't have a stove or washer and dryer but you know there wasn't a lot of places available um a little closet um thing and then the bathroom hello um yeah so that's basically the place um and that is it for this vlog my road trip vlog but i will definitely be doing a vlogs in tampa i'm gonna start doing some fitness vlogs so definitely subscribe if you want to see some tampa vlogs but and just like moving here because i'm gonna start looking for an apartment i'm in this airbnb for a month i might have to like extend i really hope that if i have to like get like longer of a stay in an airbnb that i can like extend this one but obviously it might be taken so it's just a lot to keep moving between airbnbs but i'm gonna get an apartment at least in the next like two months or something but yeah those will all i'll just be vlogging everything so yeah subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye <laughs>